and I guess something that comes to mind now, like you're talking about, so you're talking about the original development, right? Like originally you guys had clipping, then you obviously moved into this the podcast 2.0 and, and now you've got this, this comment feature. Um, what is what is your overall goal right now with the fountain app? Like, do you have some kind of future goal in mind where you're creating more than what it is now? And like, what kind of things are in the pipeline for for the immediate future? And then I guess, uh, are there any kind of cool ideas you'd want to share or, or sort of fun goals that you have for the longer term future? Yeah, great question. We've got a lot that we're um, working on. I'd say there's like three different kind of areas. The first one is just the listener experience. So we've still got a lot to do um, in terms of getting feature to parity with some of the other apps. So things like CarPlay, we need better support for the smart um, speed features like voice boost and, and uh, skip silences. They're heavily requested features. So that's a big focus. Um, and then I think just encouraging more of the clipping because that's the thing that we think is going to be really powerful long term. Um, we've got some really exciting um, stuff coming around that just to make it one easier to create clips two easier to discover clips from others and three like giving podcasters the ability to actually you know incentivize that um, and yeah I think that oh yeah and then the third thing is just we want to you know we're having a lot of success with bitcoin podcasts um, but we do want to make sure that we um kind of broaden that out and start onboarding more and more uh, podcasts to the lightning network that don't necessarily have a bitcoin focus that are just doing it for the listener support and also the cool social features that come with it so it sounds like you've got a lot of exciting plans uh, ahead and I, and I know that in the space of like um bitcoin and in just the general world and businesses uh, things change all the time right and you've got to adapt um different laws regulations different demands from customers all sorts of things like how how much have you seen uh growth wise uh, and and what kind of demands are you getting from or, or, or requests are you getting from customers for certain features like is there any kind of uh sort of repetitive uh, request that you think okay damn like people really want this or like what kind of stuff are you hearing so the ones i mentioned really i mean carplay is our number one requested feature by far and then after that it's actually the yeah, the smart speed features like voice boost and skip silences. So, and like auto leveling, stuff like that. So that's definitely a big focus. Obviously it's it's not, you know, as exciting or forward looking as the, the stuff we're doing with Lightning, but yeah, it's really important and we're working on it. So it should be available soon. I think what you guys are doing is pretty exciting. And I know that, um, well, as anyone can tell from your accent that you're from the UK and, and that you guys are looking at the UK. So I'm hoping to I'm returning in a couple of weeks as, you, as as we spoke about already. So I'm hoping to, to drop by and see you guys and, and kind of uh, get a, a good feel for how things are working um, between you and and kind of what you see the growth being from a business perspective, but also from the application perspective. Um, what I, I've got a question for you, which is a bit random, but fuck it. Uh, if you weren't working on Fountain right now, um, but you were like still, you know, sort of honed in on, on kind of doing something to do with Bitcoin or crypto. Um, what do you think you'd be doing? And I know this, this is a bit of a tough question because you said like before that, you know, you were kind of between things when after your, your last company uh, was uh, was completed. So um, yeah, I guess like, is there anything else that you think is important in the space um, that you think you'd be working on? I think the thing that excites me the most about Bitcoin is the international aspect of it and how it can potentially bring people a bit closer because they're using the same monetary network. So I don't really have anything specific about idea about that, but something to do with the international nature of Bitcoin. That's what really excites me the most other than the applications for media, which is obviously like what Fountain is all about. So yeah, I, I know it's a bit of a cop-out answer, but um, <laughs> yeah so, something something around that maybe uh the other thing just again random question random answer but i i'm massively into kind of aerospace and things like that so i might might go and work in in aerospace if i wasn't doing fountain that's pretty cool like sticking to your passions and stuff yeah i know it's a difficult question it's one of those things where you probably need a joint and, and, a, and a whiskey or something to get to get to get really to the deep deep part of that one but um no it's fine i um aerospace okay yeah i guess like is there have you ever done anything in the aerospace industry before or is that more like a passion uh, I, I studied 
aerospace engineering so kind of but didn't actually end up working um there but yeah i i think that yeah still very interested in it we actually interviewed adam curry a while back and he was talking about um one of the major motivations for podcasting 2.0 was the fact that apple had kind of cornered the market on the podcast index is fountain using adam curry's podcast index or the apple podcast index yeah so we're using the podcast index uh from from adam um and dave yeah and we we definitely are behind the uh, mission of podcasting 2.0 and the podcast index so yeah we hope that you know, we can support their growth um, because we get, so we give 1% um, of all transactions to podcast index. Um, so yeah, we, we hope that um, the growth of podcasting 2.0, the growth of Fountain, and also ultimately the growth of the other podcasting 2.0 apps as well, we can all work together to kind of be a counter uh, measure to the centralization of podcasting through the legacy platforms. Um, yeah. Um, I just downloaded the app here, so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, but I do have a question. Um, aside, you know, I wanted to know the other challenges that you face aside, you know, the obvious ones of, um, you know, having to, you know, deal with the integration of um, Lightning Network, you know, dealing with the you know, customers and the low barrier to entry. What other challenges have you, you know, faced, you know, as a team? one of the biggest is just the onboarding for a brand new user like it's just we have a blog post that explains how to get your first sats into fountain and it's so long and convoluted that for your average user that doesn't really that it's just a lot to do so that's been the big challenge because it also puts off podcasters as well because if a podcaster is asking somebody to switch apps and support them you know they want to make sure that it's a very easy and seamless process so that's definitely been the biggest challenge once we get sats into people's hands and once they start supporting things are great from there we've actually seen that the retention is so much higher for somebody that is actually able to make it to that point so that's definitely the biggest challenge. I think I'm hopeful that there's there will be better solutions available, you know, in terms of just giving people that easy first on-ramp. Um, so yeah, that's probably it. I know you guys mentioned regulations as a reason for why you can't purchase um, sats in the app, but are you guys planning to add that functionality to where like, if I don't know anything about Bitcoin, I can just swipe my credit card and fund my account? Yeah, it's something we've thought a lot about. I don't think we will offer it directly because I think just fundamentally as a podcast app and a podcasting platform, we, we don't want to go down that route. I think hopefully we'll be able to do it through partnerships though. So that might be that you're still actually uh, purchasing those sats in the Fountain app, but you're not actually going through Fountain, you're going through a partner. And hopefully we can do that because it would be small amounts to start with. Hopefully we can do that, you know, in a light to no KYC way, um, which I think is also important because again, why should I have to give up my, you know, identity details for a podcast app? Like that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, hopefully through partnerships, we can get that on ramp working yeah i think there's different different options out there when it comes to, to partners lots of different companies i think you already mentioned moon pay is like a, a company that um, has been used and there's lots of different companies like that out there and ones that are kind of more lightning based so hopefully you'll find a find a solution uh i know we've been running for about 50 minutes or so i don't know if jerry ricardo you have any more questions at all yeah uh, do you once uh, i know you mentioned you had someone doing the marketing like do you guys approach the broadcasters or they come to you guys for you know you know, to work together? Yeah, it's definitely a bit of both. I think we've approached a lot of podcasters, um, but a lot of podcasters have approached us. Luckily, it's, you know, the podcasting 2.0 movement, again, that Adam and Dave are spearheading, you know, that does generate a lot of interest in the podcasting space. So, you know, podcasters do approach us. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of both. How many uh, podcasts do you have that are signed up for Lightning in the Fountain app right now? Yeah, so there's over 5,000 Lightning-enabled podcasts, and they're not, you know, through Fountain necessarily. That could be anyone, again, who's self-hosting their RSS feed with a pub key. Um, Fountain specifically, I think we have about 60 podcasters that are using 
our podcast the wallet and so have been onboarded to lightning through fountain and have you spoken to like any of the larger like more centralized podcasting services like itunes or spotify or iheart radio um like ha- do they have interest in implementing podcast 2.0 features like into their platforms i think my opinion is that for the likes of apple and spotify specifically i f- i feel like it kind of is going against their existing business model to implement something like this so i don't anticipate them doing it anytime soon i think some of the uh other more uh indie podcast apps potentially might do it and you know we would we would love that to happen because we think that uh you know the rising tide lifts all boats um and yeah we we think it would be beneficial for fountain if that happened but not the big players because you know i don't know how many millions of dollars spotify has invested in their own uh, internal payment system but they they want to keep that and you know they make fees on that so adopting lightning where the the fee rate uh, is much lower and doesn't kind of hold people into the spotify ecosystem kind of goes against like what they're all about so i don't anticipate them in, introducing it anytime soon and my last question is let's say i'm a brand new podcaster and this whole thing sounds great i want to get involved with podcasting 2.0 like what's the tech stack that you would advise me to use obviously fountain but like what hosting what what other apps yeah so a couple of uh, actual podcast hosts that i'd recommend number one is buzzsprout um so they offer quite a few of the new podcasting 2.0 tags like chapters uh, another one is rss.com so i'd recommend checking out one of those as your actual host and then yeah if you want to um, set up your podcast to receive sats over the lightning network check out our podcast the wallet you can see all the details about that on fountain.fm and yeah it's just a couple of clicks and we give you loads of uh, analytics on yeah which episodes are bringing in the most which users are supporting the most and also we give you the ability to actually manage episode level split so what this means is you can actually give a guest or you know somebody else a 50% split or a 25% split of all of the income for that particular episode and that stays that way forever even as you release new episodes so that's one of the really cool features that um, we're excited to see more adoption of i guess since i started the app i'm getting 50% and jerry and lawrence will get 25 each <laughs> sounds very fair leader ricardo uh absolutely <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we gotta think of something uh uh cool to to do with any sats if we do receive any um for our podcast maybe like donate them to something uh interesting or or just i don't know spend it on a load of booze i don't know well, whatever whatever it is we'll decide what we're gonna do. <laughs> do you do you guys have plans to let like um the podcasters do like giveaways and sats or anything like that like for contests and things of that nature yeah so we have actually been running a couple of these uh this month manually um just you know uh giving some sats to for podcasters to reward new users but i think um we're actually working on an update which will allow podcasters to add any fountain user into their splits just by tagging their username which we think will make this process way easier because right now in order to receive a split you need a lightning pub key and obviously we have that for our podcasters but not for every fountain user so that's something that should make it easier and and then it's kind of you know it's up to the podcaster i think there's a million different ways that they can structure that well yeah i think uh, I, i'm all out of questions i know jerry ricardo you guys are i think right i'm gonna to wrap up too too soon yeah it's, it's perfect timing we've been going back 55 minutes or so anyway so um i think it's a good timing for it but um yeah uh oscar man like uh, appreciate you coming on to the to the pod it's uh it's been good it's been interesting to hear about like uh yeah the creation of fountain where you started the, the future goals and dreams and ideas and i think uh, everyone out there listening go ahead and, and download fountain app it's on the play store and it's on the app store and it's free to download and you can create an account. Um, and if you get it now, you can probably get a cool username that's like very unique because you know, it's uh, early in the, the, the journey of the app. Uh, I think I just took Lawrence. So, 
can't take that anyone out there listening suckers uh but yeah thanks for coming on man it's been been awesome is there anything you want to plug or say before you head out no i don't think so just yeah if you haven't already download fountain we're live on ios and android just go to fountain.fm uh, and you'll see all the links there but yeah thanks so much for having me on guys really appreciate it uh, it's been great so yeah anyone out there listening um i hope you're having a great uh, day week month year uh keep being awesome keep buying bitcoin keep loving life and uh, we'll see you all soon. Take care. Mm-hmm.